I do read the comments that you put on my videos and one of them I got the other day for a video about starting A-levels was saying, hi Lewis, I got your book One Daily Workout back in July and I've been doing it since then. It has been really, really useful. So uh, thank you, thanks so much, Ryan. Uh, also, he wanted to ask, what else should he be doing now on my website and do I do one-to-one -one tutoring at all? Okay, so uh, let me just go through those three points. The first thing is I do have workbooks for A-level physics. They're called the daily workout. The idea being that you do a couple of questions every day. And if you get into good habits and you kind of start to build up slowly, by the time you get to any assessments and your real exams at the end of year 13, you're gonna be a physics ninja. So this is the daily workout book one. Uh, it's got questions that you can do um, over the holidays before A-level begins. And then it's got lots of stuff that's really ideal for the start of A-level physics. And if you've been doing that every day, like uh, Ryan's been doing, um, then that's gonna really help you when you actually do this stuff again in lessons, and you've got a really good base upon which to work from. I do have things which are um, for certain days. So you can just do, for example, the questions on the 9th of September, on the 9th, and then you leave it there and then you do the questions on the 10th and the 11th, but it doesn't really matter. You can do them in any order. You can do a whole week in one go. Uh, you can miss out the questions which you find either too easy or too hard. Um, but yeah, the daily workout book, uh, you can find links to that from this video. But provided you've been doing that, what should everybody be doing at the start of year 12? Well, I think you should be doing lots and lots of maths because without understanding the maths, you're gonna fail physics. And compared to GCSE, where you often just had three things, and most of the time you just multiplied a couple of numbers together, you really need to understand the mathematics in order to access the physics content and in order to answer the questions. And that's why over the summer, I built this mini course. This is the first of these kind of big mini courses that I've produced. This one is all about maths and physics. And you can find it on alevelphysicsonline.com, completely free to access. And there are over 80 videos on that page. Now, my approach would be, when you go to the page, you can download a study guide, okay? It's completely free to get as well. All you need to do is just uh, click on the link there. You'll be emailed the study guide, and then I would urge you to print it out so you're actually writing on paper, not just doing it uh, just by looking at it on your phone or on your laptop or something like that. Now, within the study guide itself, um, this is kind of the stuff that it contains. So these are the kind of the main topics. Um, the first three are all gonna be basically things you're doing at the start of year 12. So things like standard form significant figures, rearranging equations, gradients, all that good stuff you've already got a really good firm foundation from, from GCSE. Uh, you need to know about triangles, and then later on, as you go into year 13 and you start to look at circular motion, we're doing more things with a radian. But a lot of this stuff here about area of circles, that's gonna be really useful in year 12. And then the last bit, looking at logs to the base 10 or natural logs, that's really just for year 13 students. But I would say, get the study guide, it's completely free, print it out, and then have a look at the worked examples. Now, on each of these pages, I've got the theory, um, often kind of summarized like this. Again, a lot of this is gonna be really familiar and you know it. And then I've got uh, three easy examples, A, B, and C. Now, in order to work out what the answers are, it's important that you have a go at doing the work yourself, writing your answers in, don't just kind of take shortcuts, actually write the answer in, and then you can look on the website, and if there's anything you're uncertain about about that topic, you can watch the video where I explain it and give a worked example, and then I've got my worked example video explanations where you can see how I approach the question, and then you can just use that to check if you're correct or not. Now they do start out super easy. I know that everybody watching this video can do all of these questions without any issues. Significant figures, that's something that often causes issues, but once you've got the idea, um, then that's absolutely easy. Units and prefixes, converting between units gets a little bit more tricky. We're looking at electron volts and joules. So electron volts to joules or joules to electron volts, that will happen all the time. But of course I explain more about that if you're unsure in the video. And then you can just keep doing the same thing, rearranging these different equations, combining equations. And I think that this is the thing that you could be doing at the start of year 12 that would really help you over the coming months. The idea being that even if you've got great teachers in school, if you're motivated and you start getting used to working independently, you can teach yourself a lot of this A-level physics course. And the more you get ahead of the stuff you're doing in lessons, the easier and the more productive the time's gonna be that you spend in lessons. Uh, the other question was about one-to-one -one tutoring. Do I do that? 
No, I don't. But what I'm doing this year for Year 13 students, so not you Year 12 guys, is for Year 13 students I'm going to be doing weekly classes. I'm doing two a week. I actually did one last night which was really good. Uh, we were looking at Planck's constant and LEDs and some of that kind of Year 12 physics. But I am doing small group tuition for students in Year 13 aimed at the Year 13 course. If you're in Year 12, I'm not offering that at the moment, but I will be doing various master classes throughout the year. I've actually got one coming up quite soon, and again, you can book onto that completely for free. Uh, this is on the sorry, the Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, and what I'm going to be doing on the 14th of September is I'm just going to be going through an introduction to A-level physics, some of the resources that you might find useful, how to study, what's going to be happening over the next couple of years. Again, this is just supporting all the work, all the amazing work that your teachers are doing in school. So yeah, um, I would say, uh, thanks for Ryan for putting that uh, comment up there, I would say if you've been looking at my daily workout or you're just starting year 12, the thing that you can do completely for free is go and have a look at that maths mini course. I know that you're gonna learn something from it. I know that the time you spend will pay off in the long run. So yeah, go and have a look at that over at alevelphysicsonline.com.